Well, Canadians who got mixed doses of COVID-19 vaccines will be allowed to drive across the U.S. border when it opens on November the 8th. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has announced foreign travelers who got doses of two different vaccines, such as an mRNA shot and AstraZeneca, will be considered eligible. The CDC says mixed doses are increasingly common in other countries and should be accepted by the U.S. for the interpretation of vaccine records. And for more on this, let's bring in Beth Potter. She's a president and CEO of the Tourism Industry Association of Canada. Beth, good to see you this morning. Great to see you, Andrew. All right, so Canadians with mixed doses now have the green light to drive to the U.S. as of next month. What does this mean for the travel industry? Well, what it does is it provides a little bit more clarity, and this is something that we've talked about a lot, um, providing clarity for travelers as they want to move back and forth across the border. Uh, so a little less uncertainty. Um, we know now that if you've got that mixed dose, um, as of November, you're going to be able to enter into the United States. So that's, that's really good news. Mm -hmm. All right, but before <laughs> Canadian travelers pack their bags and get in the car or go to the airport to go across the border, what should Canadians be paying attention to if they're looking to travel to the U.S. in the coming months? Well, first of all, you want to make sure that you've got your proof of vaccination so that you can um, have all that documentation on arrival at the border. Uh, you also want to make sure that if there's any tests that you need to do before you leave the country and also for when you return to Canada, um, that you understand what those tests are. And you should try and book the tests in advance when you can um, to ensure that you get them within the time frame that you need for uh, presentation at the border. Mm -hmm. So when you're coming back to Canada, for instance, you need to have that PCR test done three days in advance, so it's 72 hours. And the 72 hours counts. Uh, we've had, you know, stories come back to us that uh, where they've been, you know, an hour past their date or or, an, or or even 20 minutes past that time frame. So make sure that you calculate the, that timing really carefully. All right, that's some great advice. All right, well, the holiday season is around the corner. Lots of people looking to book <laughs> vacations, especially those who've been locked down for the last 18 months. What are some tips for travelers still concerned about the risk of contracting COVID-19? Well, first of all, you know, we follow all of the, the precautions that have been put in place. Um, you know, every mode of transportation, all of accommodators, um, all of the uh, restaurants and the, and the uh, attractions that you might visit while you're um, connecting uh, with friends and family over the holiday season, they're all following health and safety protocols to make sure that you're, you're in, a, in a safe environment. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, wash your hands regularly, hand sanitize, wear your masks, make sure that you understand uh, what the business that you are going to be interacting with, what their specific protocols are. And if you are looking to head out and enjoy local festivities um, and local attractions over the holiday seasons, just do some research in advance to make sure that you understand uh, what their approach is. Because some of these um, uh, some of these events that would have happened in pre-COVID days where you could just show up uh, may now have changes to, um, you know, you need a reservation in advance or they may even do time ticketing. So just make sure that you, you uh, check out where you're going in advance and understand what the uh, parameters and the protocols are that are in place. Mm -hmm. And Beth, lastly, I want to know, um, where should Canadians be looking for the best deals? And are there any deals? You know, you know maybe booking that, that vacation a week before Christmas to get away, is that a possibility even this year? Well... That is uh, certainly something that, um, you know, I, I, I also am looking for the best deal. So <laughs> uh, I haven't got necessarily the, the inside scoop on that, but I do know that um, there are an awful lot of destinations uh, that everyone's familiar with, uh, you know, over the Christmas holidays uh, that are looking for the Canadians to come back. Um, and not only uh, outside of Canada, but within Canada as well. So, um, you know, do your homework, watch for those uh, those great um, uh, deals online and, uh, you know, do they do ads in the newspaper anymore? I think they do, so <laughs> check I, them out. I'm hor it's horrible to say. I'm like, I don't know. I, I haven't looked yeah. at a deal for travel in the newspaper. We just aged ourselves, Beth. All right, well, thank you so much for that. That is Beth Potter, President and CEO of the Tourism Industry Association of Canada. Thanks for your time, Beth. Have a good weekend. Thanks, Andrea.